Hello friends, welcome to educators.com. In last video we have seen structures. How the memory is allocated in structure, pointer to the structure as well as we have seen structure can be passed as a parameter to the function. Now in this video we will discuss about structure array, union and enum in C language. The topics which we are going to cover are array of structure, union in C, then we'll see example of union, then enum in C, and then we'll see check out example of enum. Now, just like another data, another variables, we can have array of structure also. The way we used to have array of float, integer, character, we can have array of structure. Now here, in this example, you can see that this is the structure, struct book, which has name, price, and pages. Now this structure we have the array of 100 book uh, elements over here. Now this array we can take the value for all these element using for loop. We can read and display the values. Using dot operator we can access the value. Now when we have array of structure and one of the element of structure is float and if we are using turbo C compiler then we have to add one function called as link float because otherwise it won't work so this link float will link the float value properly here we just have to give float a equal to 0 then pointer b now this float pointer b is assigned to hold address of a which causes emulator to be linked and this application will work properly so this way we can have array of structure. Now after this we have union. Now unions are derived data type the way structures are. Unions and structures look alike but are engaged in totally different enterprises. Both structures and union are used to group a number of different variables together. But while a structure enables us to treat a number of different variables stored at different places in memory, a union enables us to treat the same space in memory as a number of different variable means we have different variable in the union but the memory utilized by these variables will be same so a union offers a way for a section of memory to be treated as a variable of one type on one occasion and as a different variable of a different type on another occasion so we can use only one variable of it at a time because the other variable may hold some junk data. Now for example we can declare this union using keyword union. First is the name of union here. Now we have integer i and character array with two size. So integer i takes two bytes and character array with two size also takes two bytes. So when we create instance of it that is union first key one variable called as key we have created if I have assigned key dot i equal to 512 and if we display i as well as ch of 0 and 1 then we will get relevant value of i but irrelevant value of ch of 0 and 1 because at a time only one member of this union can hold proper value and same memory will be utilized by the another variable also. So at a time we can use this union sometime to hold the value of i and sometime to hold proper value of ch of 0 and 1. So if we have that kind of requirement where we want the same memory to be treated as a different way depending on different scenario then we can use union. Then we have enum. Now it is an enumerated data type. This is another user defined data type which provides a way for attaching uh, names to numbers thereby increasing comprehensibility of the code. Now enum keyword automatically enumerates a list of words by assigning them values 0, 1, 2 and so on. This facility provides an alternative means for creating symbolic constants. For example, if I have sh enum shape circle square triangle. So by default circle will become 0, square will become 1 and triangle will become 2. Similarly we can have for colors, for day of week, month of uh, year and so on. Now 
now c defines type of enums to be integers and by default these enumerators are assigned integer values starting with 0 for the first one and one for second and so on but we can override this default by explicitly assigning integer values to be enumerators for example we can mention blue as 4 green as 8 so explicitly this value can be stored with this enum so we can say enum are used to have some integers some numbers assigned to some names for example here we have this enum declared as enum is a for days of week now we have saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday like this so explicitly we made saturday and sunday as a zero now day is the name of enum for that we have created small d day as a variable and assigned sunday to it then we are checking that if day is zero then we'll print it is weekend else we'll print it is a weekday so this is how we can use the enum now we'll check out these concepts practically now in this example again we are including stdir.h and conio.h header file now main is the entry point of our application clear screen and get ch function we have now we'll declare this structure structure can be declared inside main or outside if it is declared outside it will become global which can be used in any function say structure is book now here I'll have integer suppose uh, say we'll have char or anything say integer book ID then I'll have float price then say character category or say grade something like this now I'll create array of this structure with struct book ARR of three elements so every structure has a continuous memory again array, array has a continuous memory so this all elements will get continuous memory now we'll read the value using a for loop so if I have for some variable I will declare as a counter say integer i now I'll make this i as 0 then i is less than 3 and i plus plus inside this we will have printf enter value and then we'll read the value using scanf as a percent %d percent %f and percent %c and percent of arr of i dot did then ampersand of arr of i dot price where i is a counter of for loop dot price and then ampersand of arr of i dot grade like this value we can read over here using dot operator and if you want we can print them again saying printf say did equal to percent d then we have price equal to percent f then grade equal to percent c then we can have arr of i dot bid arr of i dot price and finally arr of i dot grade and here we can close this bracket
clear screen you can keep here now as we have discussed we are using here a float value in the array so by default it will get linking error so to avoid that linking error we have to use a function called as link float so we can have void link float now this is the issue with turbo c only in turbo c compiler we have to give this function here simply we are having float a variable then pointer of float b then b will hold address of a and to avoid the warning that a is not used we will just assign a equal to star of b like this so here in this example we have declared a structure taking integer and float and character value then added a link float to avoid the linking error then we have a array of structure now this linking error is caused only in the turbo c compiler when we have a float value and we are using array of structure then we have this for loop where we are reading the value in whole array and then displaying it now if i'll execute this enter value say 1 then price something in a double and say grade that will be displayed second value suppose some price and grade so that will be displayed third value means these are going in the array say 90 and in grade is c so that will be displayed like this so this way we can have array of structure now we'll check out example of union we have suppose union as first now where we are having one integer and then character ch of r with two elements now to get the uh, variable of that type we can have union first say f if suppose i'll assign f dot i as some value say 512 and then we'll have print f to display i's value as a percent d then ch of 0 equal to percent c then ch of 1 equal to percent c and if we have i uh, displayed over here that is f dot i then f dot ch of 0 then f dot ch of 1 now if we'll execute this then we'll get the i's values are relevant but ch of 0 and 1 is not giving relevant value because at a time only one memory one variable memory can be uh, can hold relevant value the so same memory will be utilized by both the variable so if i have assignment of ch of 0 and 1 as a sum value then i'll get i's value as a junk value if i'll have f dot ch of 0 assigned at something and then f dot ch of 1 assigned to b and if i'll execute this so we'll get a b's value correctly but i's value is some junk value this way we can use only one memory at a time if we try to display the size of it using size of function So we have printf backslash n size size of union equal to percent d and here I'll display I'll use size of function and I'll display f f size over here. If we'll execute this, so you can see size of union is two. means it will take only the memory of the largest 
member of that union so here i is also taking two bytes and ch r is also taking two bytes so only two bytes are utilized and same memory will be used by both the both members so this is how we can use union now next we have enum now if we have if we want to declare enum say enum the use of enum we have seen as the names are associated with the integer value some constant value we can assign into this enum for example if we want to create enum for a day day of week so we'll create enum day where we can keep value as sunday then monday we'll have saturday tuesday wednesday then thursday like this friday like this different values i have given over here now if i create a variable of that enum that is enum day as d and if i'll assign something say monday and if i'll display this day equal to percent d and d i will display here so as we have seen by default saturday will become 0 1 2 so we expect two should be displayed over here so this way day equal to 2 will be displayed by default saturday will have 0 means first value will start from 0 1 2 like this but explicitly we can modify it if suppose i'll make monday as a 100 and if i'll execute this so i'll get that 100 value so explicitly we can map a number value with the enum name so this way we can use it now we can have explicitly assigned some value by default it will start from 0 0 and incremented by 1 so if i remove this and if i have given saturday as a 1 in after execution we can see here now it is giving day as 3 means monday as 3 because saturday is made as 1 then sunday is 2 then monday is 3 so this way we can assign integer value to the names over here now if i am not giving if i am giving the value as 0 to saturday as well as sunday which is a weekend then i can just have here as if d equal to 0 then we'll conclude that printf weekend it's weekend else it is a weekday it's weekday so now if i'll execute this so we can get it as it's weekday because we have assigned to the monday so this way we can use enum so we have seen structures array of structure enum and union now in the next video we'll discuss about few complex topics in the pointers thank you